<laughs> 30 years from now, what will Gen Z hate themselves for the most? Something they posted online probably, I've seen some unhinged personal poop posted online, I cannot believe people just let stuff be public. Being the generation to reverse the decreasing trend in nicotine addiction. Wasting their youth scrolling content. They won't have this energy and wonder forever, and when that fades and all that's left is toil, with few fun memories to anchor them, I'm anticipating a deluge of midlife crisis. Videoing everything and posting their every moment. Being worse at technology than millennials. Same as everyone, embarrassing stuff they did in their youth in the social arena of the day. Millennials hate their old Facebook posts and AIM away messages, Gen Z will hate their IG reels and amateur TikToks. Turning into the very boomers they hate right now. Thinking they were making a difference when in reality, they were doing what they were influenced to do. The fact that they feel this incessant need to label everything, I mean everything and so specifically too. Either vaping or how much stock they put into social media in their formative years. Trusting propaganda bots on social media over real humans with actual experience, knowledge, and wisdom. The amount of youth who have been absolutely taken in by the most ridiculous of the left and right extremes, it's going to be like detox. Their constant phone news means that every failure is recorded, they are so unforgiving towards themselves. I feel for them. For having the climate change is going to kill us all in 10 years so what's the point, mindset. Not trying to understand an opposing point of view talking at people, not with them, you do not have to agree with someone to understand where they're coming from and their perspective, it's also a massive problem with older generations. Speaker phone conversation in public, everyone hates your guts. Probably for all the TikTok dances and challenges they immortalized online, then you being a respected professional or a parent and having your kids find your videos doing the renegade or the ice bucket challenge with a level of enthusiasm that no job or household chore has ever seen since. I hate myself now, there is no need to wait 30 years. Some of them wanted to be famous and put real names on social media like some kinda Gen Xer. Super unpopular opinion, and I know this is going to get downvoted into oblivion. The gender queer trend. I hang an inclusion flag my house, I am not a bigot, I have several trans non-conformative individuals in my life, and I accept and love them for who they are. But I also know probably three times as many people who claimed that they were non-binary or transgender or any other non-CIS group, and months or years later changed their minds. I had a very small Twitch channel that gave me insight into the Gen Z culture, and many of them have jumped on the bandwagon because it's an easy way to get positive affirmation from their peers. I know that for many people being trans is not a choice, but an opportunity to become who they've always been, but for so many more people, it's a trend. And I think a lot of these kids are going to be very embarrassed about it when they are older. For believing that TikTok was a legit news source. I work with a lot of Gen Z students and my biggest observation is that they don't trust themselves, they ask questions like am I allowed to print in here? Instead of am I able to print in here? They apologize far too often, they are very kind-hearted, which is wonderful, but their self-doubt holds them back from doing the amazing things I know they could do if they just believed in themselves. Saying things like busts in FIF are no cap. As a millennial that can speak from first hand, clothes that don't fit. The only correct answer, not investing in real estate in the 90s. All those stupid 15 second videos. Calling everything cringe in a nick. Being the most accepting and open generation whilst simultaneously being the most aggressive to alternative ideas. Complaining about a bunch of poop that aren't real problems. Broccoli tops and documenting asterisk everything asterisk on social media. Rioting and trashing their own communities. Oh boy, where do I start? 1. For naming every minor discomfort as mental health problem. 2. For naming everyone who doesn't agree with them as toxic. 3. For using slangs like Delialu, OG, Bougie. Stealing millennials 90s fashion ha ha ha. 
not voting and cementing America's decline into an economic autocracy. Hating millennials when they should have hated themselves. Dressing like they're extras from one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Bring proud of weird poop and posting it online. Getting swept up on social political issues instead of just enjoying their youth life. The absolute ridiculous obsession with being a victim, and how being a victim gets you out of certain things. I can't believe how many times I read I have ADHD, so I'm not neurotypical, so I shouldn't be expected to do X, Y, or Z. Not seeing the AI steamroller coming down the hill. Being socially inept, entitled and willfully delusional. Kids these days literally think that watching streamers is a substitute for A, socializing and B, using your brain power to play video games, when in reality it's a substitute for neither and the longer those skills, socialization, logic, math, focus, problem solving, etc., are neglected, the more you lose them. Kids these days literally don't even know how to play games, they just boot up the latest multiplayer fad, quit, rinse and repeat, it's hilarious. Being offended by everything, one day they will realize how they ruined basically everything in our culture, because they wanted to feel important. Only fans. These young girls think it's no big deal and they're just earning money, once they realize how damaging it is for their self-esteem to be degraded on a daily basis, they will regret it, the money will go, but the videos will stay on the internet for their future children to see. Nothing, they'll still believe they're right.